ABC 7 Business Commentator Richard Stern joins us now with the check of the day on Wall Street. It has been quite a month of October, but it's almost over. <laughs> well, it's almost over. We have three days left to yeah. turn it around. We've turned it around so far today, mm -hmm. but we, we've got some work to do. Yeah. Indeed, we've got a lot of work to do. So far this month, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down by 6.5%. The Standard & Poor's 500 Index down by 8.5%. And the NASDAQ, which has been leading the market all year, well, not right now. The NASDAQ year to, or month today, I should say, is down by 11%. That said, guess what? Market's been up all morning. The high of the day, plus 352 points. Let's see where we stand right now. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up by 208 points, more than eight-tenths of 1 percent, at 24,896.69, that on volume of 595 million shares. The Nasdaq for the day up 53 points, three-quarters of 1 percent, at 7,219.75, that on volume of 1,147,000,000 shares, and certainly if those two are up, so is the S&P. The Standard Poor's 500 index up 29 points, 1.1 percent, at 2,688.10. Well, IBM for years has been known as Big Blue. Well, guess what? Big Blue is spending Big Green. Today, the company announced it will spend $34 billion, that's billion with a B, to buy a company by the name of Red Hat. Red Hat is known as the, uh, a very big software and technology company with particular expertise in the cloud. The $34 billion purchase is the largest in IBM's history. Red Hat shares closed at 117 on Friday. The offer from IBM is $190 a share, a 63% premium. Uh, by the way, Red Hat became public in 1969 in the dot-com era. Remember that? Well, guess what? It, it's taken a while, but boy, oh boy, an increase today like unbelievable. Yeah. All right. We'll see you again at 5. I'll be here. With the closing numbers. All yes, right, sir. Richard. Thank you so much.